Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel, guys. I'm here with Tux. We are on a long drive to London. This is gonna be the first time I'm taking him on a long drive. Obviously, he's been on a long drive before on his own without me. Well, coming from Belarus, but first time with me. So, we're gonna do ourselves a vlog. Keep up to date with this video and I'll show you what we get up to. Goodbye. Hi, guys. We've arrived at the hotel, just checked in. As you can see, Tuxi is trying to root through the bags because he wants his food. He's probably absolutely starving. I've not fed him today. Well, I fed him in the morning, but then I've not fed him since. Here's the view from where we are. I don't know if you can see clearly. But we're staying in Ilford, uh, which is in East London. I'm going to uh, get him ready for bed now. Just going to feed him and that and get our day started tomorrow. Stay tuned. Good morning guys, we've not been up long. Uh, Tux doesn't look impressed because I left him in the bathroom all night. <laughs> the reason for that is I didn't bring the dog cage with me and I don't really want him pissing and shitting on the carpet. It's just going to be harder to scrub than the, the lining in there. Oi, get in there. So basically I'm just having a coffee this morning just to get myself around a little bit. Um, I've just cleaned his ears out. Yeah, so I had to clean his ears out because um, it stunk, didn't they? Yeah, he stinked, don't they, mate? It smelled like uh, gone off rice and socks, bad socks mixed together. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I'll just scrub them down with Hebe scrub. Uh, I'm gonna drop a few uh, air drops in there and then I'm gonna start bandaging them and then give them a quick wipe down and get myself ready before we head out for the day. So I've been told by my missus that apparently I do tuck his bandaging or posting really well. To be fair with you, I do kind of believe that because when I first started off, I wasn't the best. It took me ages. Um, even with her helping me out, we still struggle to keep him in one position. We struggle to get him in. We struggle to get the angle right. We struggle just, just doing him in general. Um, as you can see from this video, I've kind of got really used to it i'm just flying through them now um, i'm pretty i'm pretty accurate at doing them every time i've got my own way of doing it um it's not the typical way which you'll find on youtube of uh, people recommending if anyone wants to know how i do bandage my dog's ears and how i do post them please let me know in the comments down below and i'll be sure to give you a tutorial on the way i do it personally I just went to Greg's to get some breakfast. As I was walking back towards my car, the alarm was going off. And um, when I get closer, please tell me why Tux is sat there like, trying to act all innocent. I know he's the main culprit here. So we've just come out. We were gonna go into this local park, but uh, the gates are locked, I'm assuming because of COVID. And uh, the sign saying no dogs. It's not like we was gonna listen to them rules anyway. Anyway, I've just brought him here to this little patch of grass. He's just had a wee. I'm gonna give him his meal. His morning meal, and then play with him for a little bit. If anyone's thinking I'm cruel for not having a plate or a bowl, I've left it at home. But he's a dog, so I'm sure he'll be fine eating off the grass. Stay. Stay. Five, four, three, two, 
Oh, come on. Good boy. Good boy. So I got my brother-in-law just playing with him. It's gonna tire him out. Once start cleaning this garden. Once we're done, I'm gonna do a little bit of training with him and then give him a rest. We have found something Tux is afraid of. The trampoline. Look at his body position. He does not have a clue what's going on. Tux! Come on, Tux! Come on, Tux! Come on, Tux! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Complete transformation in the garden. All the litter's gone. Two bin bags full. Got a nice patch of grass here now for him to do some training on. He's had a long play. Still got the energy to play, but we're gonna save it to do some training now. It's been less than 24 hours and Tux has kind of picked up on the fetch training already using the tennis ball. I'm not going to take the credit for it, I'll be honest, it was my brother-in-law. He was basically play playing with him in the backyard. He just kept throwing the tennis ball. Every time he was bringing it closer, he was just saying fetch, giving a verbal cue. I've watched a lot of videos on YouTube where people say to use a training slip lead and there's other ways to do it. Like you have to train it into him. But I don't know if it's me personally that just has been fortunate with a clever dog but Tux at the age of four and a half months he's just picking up on it naturally on his own so I'm kind of impressed I'm going to show you a few clips of how he's doing it so let me know what you guys think what is it what is it what is it what is it, what is it? What is it? get it watch how on this first clip he just goes for the ball but then ends up just running past me he doesn't know how to do it at first but on the second clip you'll see how he's perfected it You see how he's come to fetch the ball, but immediately he's taking it back. This is a massive improvement from where he's came from. If you guys want me to make a video on how to teach your dog to play fetch, let me know in the comments down below. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments if you would want me to continue making vlog videos. And you know what to do. As always, subscribe to my channel, hit the thumbs up and hit your bell so you can get any notifications for any future videos. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.